Hi everyone, this is Zyphal. This topic I will talk about how to use Delta AS PLC send and receive a string. You can see the system architecture. I will, here we use a AS double SCM module with a communication function card AS dash F four eighty five. Then we link the uh, pin three is, is a D plus and pin four D minus to uh, come to serial port 2 of uh, 12 SA2 come to uh, SPLC setting so we can config uh, inside hardware config here we use the first uh, function card as uh, F485 and we select the protocol as a UD link and then we define the bow rate so this one we actually act in the RTU mode and how to trigger so we can uh, find from the hardware config we will use the list data register to trigger the uh, command after that we have uh, to uh, do some com configuration inside the SCM shop so first one we was uh, use the uh, send the ASCII stream so as you can see here we define in the group one so that means in the command trigger we put one then it will trigger and send the command on the uh, TX packet then here we can check uh, we define the word uh, the ASCII uh, stream as a Delta POC ASCII stream uh, demo this is the per first part uh, second part we will uh, show another uh, function that will be uh, send and receive so you can see this one will uh, become a command type will be a uh, send and receive so you will see we have uh, uh, both send and receive packet back here uh, because we set only in uh, send so you can see here we have only in uh, TX packet uh, send packet uh, for second demo we will read the uh, uh, D0 from SA2 POC and write to the data register of uh, AS POC so here you can see we will use the hex uh, 01 that means a uh, uh, station number of uh, ASPOC uh, sorry XA2 POC and the 03 is a function code read uh, 1000 is a D0 and if you don't know why is a D1000 uh, uh, D0 is a 1000 this one will refer to the uh, mobile address of our POC, uh, DVP POC second generation and then we just read the uh, one word so you will be a uh, uh, triple O one then will be a uh, S zero C A this one is the uh, checksum and then we will uh, define the receipt string uh, sorry receipt uh, packet so here we will define right to a uh, uh, data register uh, D 26,000 and regarding the checksum if you don't know you actually can uh, Google so for example we use uh, this uh, website and this is the stream uh, 0103 uh, 1000 and 0001 and we can click then you can check this is the mobile so we add uh, we use the value uh, at 0 C A okay and next we will uh, talk about a uh, 12 SA2 uh, setting as I mentioned here we use the RTU so we define the bow rate should be consistent with the setting inside ASPOC okay and here we use another move command that will use the a real time clock of uh, SA2 POC so we will move the value to the zero so that's why we can uh, we will see the D0 keep uh, increasing uh, from 0 to uh, 59 and it will become a cycle and loop and for example uh, if we send the command uh, trigger 2 a uh, group 2 trigger in the this uh, special register so you will start to send this uh, stream and then you will write the value to uh, E26000 and for example if uh, d0 is 6 then we you will see the value uh, in the high byte of uh, d26002 will be 6 
So now we uh, go to the software part portion. Okay, I think most people are already quite familiar with this one. And here is the setting for a uh, function card. So actually you can select a different function card and because we use the IS485. So here we set use the IS485 and select a UD link. And this is the uh, protocol, so you can select a uh, based on the program if you want to change. Okay, next uh, we can check this is the definition of uh, AS, uh, SCM module. And as I uh, already talked about this, this one is a group ID trigger. Okay. Uh, next step, we will uh, click here and uh, open uh, SCM shop. Okay, so here you have uh, to create the group. Uh, for example, here we uh, create another uh, group, and you can define the command type. It will be uh, send, receive. Or send and receive. So, uh, example we use a send first. So you will see uh, we can create the uh, send packet, and then we can back to here to set up to select. And if we want to uh, modify this one to send and receive, so we can define another uh, receive packet and back to the setting over here. Okay, so after you do the setting, then you can uh, download. Uh, now let's move to the group one. So as you can see here, we define only in send. So we can check the uh, information inside send. And here uh, you can just uh, simply double, double click. So we, uh, Offer three type. Uh, first one will be the hex. Uh, then will be uh, ASCII. Then the call. So here we use the ASCII string. And you may wonder how to add on this. You can actually just uh, click a uh, constant. Okay. Uh, second, I will talk about uh, group two. So as you already know, here we use the send and receive. So we can check the packet here uh, and again double click so we use the hex and come to uh, receive uh, here we will select uh, write uh, because we will get the value from SA to POC and write to SPOC uh, 26,000 and for uh, remember here we use the st uh, star sign okay after that, we can uh, download the setting and select the module. Uh, if you have uh, more than uh, one SCM module, then you will, you have to select the corresponding one. Now we can uh, close SCM soap and then we back to the software. Okay, and before uh, we send the command, then we can uh, open another uh, third-party software. Okay, this one is a uh, access port. It's uh, actually a free software. So, for example, uh, we define the zero port on the laptop and define this one port rate uh, nine six double eight uh, nine one. Okay, and we I can click to establish the connection then we can trigger the command in uh, 20 uh, 28030 and now we switch online and we send the value 1 you can back and check here he will keep uh, sending the string okay then we can use uh, change the command to zero so it will stop and later you can check the status of uh, this uh, data register 
as you see, it will become one, and you will stop sending the stream. And you can also convert this one to hex, and this one is actually in ASCII. And next uh, step, I will show you that. Uh, so we we may close the uh, software first, and then uh, we can link to SA to POC. So here we'll see uh, the value will keep increasing. Uh, this one will from uh, zero to fifty nine and uh, loop again. Okay, so you will see this one later become zero. Okay, this is the timer. And later we'll mon uh, monitor the, sorry, we will get the value of from PO ASPOC. So now uh, we change the command to two. That means uh, you will send a string, another string, and we will get the value over here. So this is what I mentioned. It will keep uh, changing, but we just check about the high byte. So you can see now it will become a uh, one, two, three, four again. And then if we want to stop, we can uh, put the zero. So it will uh, stop the command. And then if we want to ch uh, check the information, we can actually on this port again. Okay, and sorry, this might have uh, some conflict because uh, it will occupy the POC port. Okay, uh, so that's all for uh, today's uh, topic. Uh, next topic, I will talk about a further function of uh, SCM module. Thank you.